Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Smita's International Cooking. So the third dish we are going to do today uh, is uh, called uh, bean curry. It's uh, red bean curry and especially in winter time uh, she makes it a, a lot. Uh, it goes with the bread like Indian bread or um, rice. It goes very good with the rice. And uh, the name you call Rajma curry for this dish. So let's get started. Okay, we are going to start with our th third dish, the Rajma curry. And I have all the ingredients over here. Um, over here you can see I have a uh, soaked uh, red kidney beans, which I have soaked overnight. I'm going to first start the pressure cooking the uh, beans. And while beans are cooking, we're going to make the sauce. And then uh, the dish will be ready. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to remove all this water from the beans. I'm going to add some fresh water to it. This was about one and a one fourth cup of uh, dry beans, but, but it's soaked up, you know, so it's pretty good consistency. Uh, good for four to five people. Put it, add it in the pressure cooker over here. Add about uh, add about one and a half cup of uh, water. Yeah, uh, I have two to three bay leaves here, and uh, about uh, one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add. And I might need a little more water, so I'm going to add a little bit more water, about a cup. So I'm going to put in about total two and a half cup of uh, water. And I'm going to pressure cook this on a medium high heat for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. So while this one is uh, cooking, we are going to make the sauce, the curry base. And in this one, I'm going to add about uh, one tablespoon of uh, Indian uh, desi ghee or clarified butter you can call and one tablespoon of oil okay I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of cumin and uh, you can see the cumin is uh, popping up in that, I'm going to add one fourth teaspoon of hing. In that, this is a one and a half cup of uh, chopped onion. I'm going to add that first. We are going to cook the onion uh, for about four to five minutes till it starts sweating. A uh, little tender and translucent. So you can see now the onion is becoming a little translucent. Now we are going to add the garlic, green chili, ginger, everything in it. So I have here chopped garlic about, uh, you can say about two teaspoons. And grind the ginger about one teaspoon. And 
chopped green chili you can put according to your taste I'm just I have two green chilies chopped here I'm just using about one give it a stir and cook it for about a minute or so Okay. Okay. So now we are going to add the tomatoes. These are chopped tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, three tomatoes are chopped. We are going to let it cook till the tomatoes become really good, you know, mushy and release the oil. I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of salt in here so it the tomatoes cooks faster when you add the salt in it. So you can see almost all the tomatoes are become like a mousse. So at this stage I'm going to add uh, all the dry ingredients in here. I'm going to put about uh, half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric, two teaspoons uh, red chili powder. and two teaspoon uh, coriander powder uh, one teaspoon uh, this is a special spice mix called garam masala i'm going to put that in there and uh, also i'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of uh, dry mango powder uh, about a tablespoon of cilantro in there so our sauce is almost ready the base is ready for the curry I'm waiting for the pressure cooker to cool down we are going to add the beans in there and that will be it the beans are cooked and I can see yeah you can see how easily you can smash it it's good I'm going to take out the bay leaves which I put it in for flavor and yeah and now we're ready to add the beans to the curry okay so Here is the curry. Add the beans in it. I'm going to use the liquid we put it in to cook the beans. And mix everything together. Mm. 
You might want to smash some of the beans so it becomes a thick curry. about a cup of water in this Give it a, about three minutes, one boil, and ready to serve. Okay, so our beans are, you know, I've been cooking it for five to seven minutes, and you can see it became like a very much one thing. And uh, last ingredient, I have about uh, teaspoon of uh, dry kasuri methi. I'm going to rub it in my hand and add that on top and some fresh cilantro. Mix it up and this is ready to be eaten. So the beans are ready and we can serve it with the hot rice. And I'm going to add some more cilantro on top and it's ready to plate up. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'm going to take it out in a plate and I would like you guys to try it. Thank you very much for watching this video.